Welcome to UNC. I'm Jen Mayer, Head of Library Research Services, and I'm very happy to welcome you to our faculty. University Libraries is made up of two libraries, the James A. Mishner and the Howard M. Skinner Music Library. We have about 18 faculty, 27 staff, and 75 student employees, all who work together to make the libraries run. There are approximately 1.5 million physical items in our collections and over 200 online databases that you can use to access ebooks, online journal articles, streaming video, and much more. I'm going to share my screen now. This presentation today is about what your liaison librarian can do to support you in your teaching and your research. Liaison librarians can teach information literacy classes, they can help select course materials, provide individual research consultations for your students, and can help you get access to research materials you need for your work. You can find your liaison on the URL on this slide under libguides.unco.edu slash directory. These individuals are also the personal librarian for your students, so you're welcome to put their contact information on your syllabus and or Canvas site. Feel free to schedule an appointment with your librarian to chat more about the various ways the two of you might partner and work together. Let's start with Open Educational Resources, or OER. So OER is a quickly growing movement in higher ed that has gained a lot of traction over the past several years. Open educational resources are teaching and learning materials that are freely available online and openly licensed, so those who wish to use them and remix them may do so. Robin DeRosa is a professor at Plymouth State in New Hampshire, and she's a huge OER and open pedagogy advocate. If you want to check out any of the links in this PowerPoint, they will be available in your new faculty orientation Canvas site. So I've included a link to a four minute video by Dr. DeRosa and a link to her blog. And if you're on social media, she's definitely worth a follow if you're interested in OER and or open pedagogy. I'll also talk about the, the landscape around OER at UNC today. We do have an OER committee that's been in existence for the last couple of years. We have faculty, staff, and student representation from across campus on this committee. The libraries took a leadership role in this initiative and we've been heavily involved ever since. The committee link provides additional information on our work, which has included campus surveys of UNC students and faculty in fall 2018, which indicated textbook costs were a significant barrier to our students at UNC. On the faculty side, the survey showed that faculty didn't know a lot about OER at that time, generally speaking, but were interested in exploring. Uh, we also have received two grants from the Colorado Department of Higher Ed to support OER. So these created stipends for faculty who were interested in transforming an entire course to using all OER materials. The first round we received $20,000, the second round about $50,000, and the UNC provost has provided an additional $10,000 worth of funding to support faculty surrounding the OER efforts. We've done blog posts as committee members. We link to resources for OER, and we celebrate Open Ed Week every March with a variety of activities. Next steps for the committee include offering open textbook network training for those faculty at UNC who are interested in learning more. Here are just a few places to start looking for OER. And there's also disciplinary specific repositories out there, but I recommend trying a few of these if you haven't seen them before. If you want to explore OER further, please do contact your liaison librarian. Now to transition to research support. Research outputs, of course, look different for different disciplines, and librarians are available to work with you every step of the way as needed.
on this page, uh, there are links to a variety of items, including uh, databases. So if you go to the library's main page, you'll see a databases tab where you can access all of our online databases. And just a few of those I'll highlight right now are essential science indicators, ICPSR data sets, journal citation reports, RefWorks, and SAGE research methods. The link to the Select Faculty Research Resources and Overview of Research Scholarship and Creative Works pages are a jumping off place for you to explore various services that the libraries and others provide at various steps of the research process. The Faculty Fund for Publication is um, a fund that's available to you as a faculty member. UNC librarians were instrumental in partnering with the provost and research office to establish this fund on campus. So awards are available for up to $1,500 per faculty member per year. And they, they provide funding for various publishing fees for journals, conference proceedings, and books, for example, for book indexing. For more information, please see the link provided. The Researcher Workshop Series is a series geared to faculty and graduate students. And in the past, we've done them face-to-face. -face. We've now offered them as online versions of the workshop. So if you go to the link provided, the libraries does have a YouTube channel and the playlist is called Researcher Workshop Series. And um, they're about 30 minutes in length. So I encourage you, if you're interested in any of these topics on this slide, which include author rights, open access, copyright, OER, and showcasing your impact as an author um, to please visit our videos and um, go from there. Digital UNC. Digital UNC has two parts. One is archives and special collections, and the other is scholarship and creative works which is our institutional repository and features the work by UNC faculty and students. If you'd like to add your work to Digital UNC SCW, it will immensely broaden its reach and you will receive monthly download reports, which is really exciting. The online submission form is straightforward, but please ask if you have questions. Your work will be globally accessible and preserved. Here's the library's main website address. And again, you will find all the links in this PowerPoint today will be in your new faculty orientation Canvas space if you wish to look at them further. And I've also put the link for library services for faculty in that space as well. So information for the library services for faculty include how to contact liaison librarians, scheduling library instruction, ordering materials, using reserves, finding online guides and videos, using Canvas library modules, interlibrary loan, renewing your library materials, digital UNC, and more. Please don't forget to follow the libraries on social media and get in touch anytime. We are here for you and your students.